Welcome to this look at a new-ish mod map to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, you find me here on Wolfhagen. This is a new mod map out by AE Maping, 172.69 megabytes download. This is one of four maps that came out the other day and one of two that came out from AE Maping. I'm going to get on to the other one later on. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It, I think it's been designed probably more for multiplayer. Just for my own personal preference for maps and the way I like things to be, I'll get onto something about that later on. Fuel prices are pretty expensive. Let's get let's get onto um, the map and have a look. So this is what the map looks like on New Farmer. We start with this big plot and farm here, plot one, and this one down here, plot seven. Now, if you go onto a farm manager and start from scratch, you'll only be able to afford one of them. Because, or, well, on Farm Manager especially, on Farm Manager you've got one, that 1 1.5 million. That one's 980,000 to buy. This one is 1,422,300. So you can do one or the other, but not both when you start out. And field prices are up there too. 1.3 million, 1.8 million, 994. 494, that's not too bad. Buy gas plants down there, we'll get to that later on. Um, 2 million, just over 2 million, 1.9. 719, a bargain. A couple of bits of forestry here and here. Sorry, there. And then we've got a sort of pasture area there as well for 580. So some slightly cheap ones. But my point I was making was all of these bits here that have got sell points and stuff on, you can't buy. Can't buy any of these bits of land. And you'll see why that's more relevant in a little while, I guess. Um, there's no required mods to download and there's no mods in the build mode been added in by the map maker makers. Um, there's no custom crops, but contracts are available. New Farmer, the slot count... Well, actually, no. On all three game modes, the slot count is 1,355. You're saying we start with the same stuff on all three game modes. Like I say, you just have to buy the land, that's the only thing. I got the slot count down to 809, because on both of the farms, you can remove all of the buildings, you can remove all of the vehicles... And I got it down to 809, which is a big drop down from 1355. I'll show you two, I think I took two pictures of this farm and the other farm, what it looks like. I mean, it's just a clear open expanse. So there you have it. Now, a reason why I'm saying I think this is probably set up for multiplayer is you'll see with the vehicles and equipment. We'll go over here to start off with. So we've got a gateway. Where was the gateway? Here. <laughs> That's interesting, this. When you look at the fencing, it's got all of the posts and stuff on the outside. My question. When you see fencing, usually, is fencing put up for your benefit or someone else's? You often see fencing the other way around, so when it's facing the street, facing a person that's walking past, facing the outside world, the nicer section faces out. But are you placing your fencing so that when you look out of your doors and windows and stuff, you've got the nice bit of fencing? It's an interesting one, isn't it? Anyway, all the fencing can be removed as well. Sleep trigger is just here. We do start with the weather station as well. Just there. And we'll grab the pickup and we will start going around. Now, what I was saying about vehicles. Um, <laughs> if you've got both the farms, you start with... 11 tractors you heard me 11 tractors let's have a look in the barn workshop triggers around the side here one two three four five six harvester and header is that right yes yeah, six seven just over here <laughs> we have a lot of gear at the main farm here Big cultivator, plough, we've got our um, uh, large baler, we've got a liquid fertiliser and herbicide sprayer, a lime and fertiliser spreader, we come around the corner, three jet washes, I don't think I've ever encountered a farm that's got three at the same location, just around in here we've got three trailers, plenty to be getting on with, fuel tank to be refilled, 25,000 litres, Karma 16 silo for your seed and mineral feed. 27,300 litres. Liquid fertiliser tank, 173,500. Like I say, it's all the base game stuff. Large storage around the side here. We've got solid fertiliser storage, just there. 
water point just there more storage then we've got the nl 1622 16000 that's a 16 million liter standard crop type silo way station just there we come a bit further over the shadows seem very dark to me i don't know if it's, it's just, it's, as we get close they're not too bad weights three more trailers and another tractor what's that we're up to six seven eight yep that's eight <laughs> uh, we've done all of those done all of those did the big barn with the workshop brilliant that's the main farm plenty of space here though again if you don't want all the barns and buildings you can replace them for other things um, you can put productions on here whatever it is you want to do uh, you can completely configure it and i think the rest of the map is, is pretty much flat the entire map so as far as a start map goes with things on it already it kind of gives you a bit of scope to do whatever you want on here which is nice i've taken the liberty of already putting money in on new farm you only start with 100 so i put some money in we're going to need that later on when we get to the biogas plant the biogas plant is one that doesn't show up on the map um you need to buy the biogas plant when you get there when you buy the biogas plant you then get the land with it you can't buy the land separately and you don't buy the land to get the biogas plant it's the other way around so crossing over the river which runs across the map from our northeast down to our southwest we've got the sawmill now the fact that it says platinum expansion is required that is just for the buildings because this sawmill here is a standard sawmill it's not um, doesn't do all of the platinum expansion things here so there's your wood drop off point your actual trigger and buy point for the sawmills down here and your wood chip point very elm creek vibe to the way this one's set up as well so there we go buy that just wood planks with wood chip as a byproduct we'll come out from here onto there's a track that runs this way have i lost it i have lost it where is it just here following the river for a little while takes us right out to the northeast and this is the I don't, I don't know if it's someone's just getting grumpy i don't know if i'm just crabby i'm not quite sure what it is but this isn't the first I mean, there's been loads of maps that are like this um I, I implore i implore map makers all map makers out there if you've got the ability to if you're on pc and you're making maps and you can change xml uh, xml files and things like that and all the things you do all the whiz bangery that i don't do on console i've never made a map i've never made a mod please start changing the names of things please uh, it, it frustrates me there's no collectibles i don't think it, it doesn't, didn't say um i'll double check that in a second but this is the south valley biomass energy which is again elm creek even if it was the same building and it was still the same cell point it would be cool if it just had a different name but like i said i don't know whether i'm just being crabby or whether it's something other people feel that's the whole point of a map tour review isn't it i don't know um let's have a look in here for where are we right hand column it would usually say doesn't mention collectibles at all so yeah south valley biomass energy just here now i'm gonna go right across the map heading west so again this is this is a fictitious oh you know because it's called wolf wolfhagen wolfhagen welcome to the world of wolfhagen this imaginary world gives you the feeling of being in reality um so there's no specific place for it you know i think we always refer to large american maps and i've said this a few times on map tours whether it's large american maps large canadian maps whether it's large south american maps even large european maps if you like big open field farming this is that no shortage of space no real hassle with hedges and fences and that kind of thing there's your the tree here and there but again nothing major that's going to hamper your efforts and the fact you start off with loads of tractors i'm surprised that it's not less tractors and maybe a couple of harvesters instead especially the fact three jet washers as well that's yeah because if you're playing on your own you can only use one at a time 
So out here, Johnson's Farmer's Market. Just around the back there. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, in the things I'm saying earlier, I'm not, I'm not knocking AE mapping, I'm talking generally speaking. I say modders, map makers, you know. Because I know you, you can click on certain sell points and things, you can change the names of things yourself, certain placeables and things allow you to do that, and that's fine. I suppose, I, I guess I'm, I've done so many map tours, I mean, I think I'm only short now of maybe three or four map tours for the entirety of FS22. I've seen a lot of maps, I've done a lot of map tours. Gas station, just here. And now we're heading down this side. And this is, like I say, my frustration with this and maps like this So, animal dealer, sell point, just there. Animal dealer, just here. Again, huge open area, plenty of space, can't buy it. You can't buy the land. So you can see where I'm going with this. All down this next side, you'll see as we drive down, there are loads and loads of buildings. Loads of buildings, loads of industrial looking complexes that would be perfect for sell points or productions or whatever they might be, but you can't put them on because you can't buy the land. That frustrates me. It always has done on maps, and again, not just this one, but that, this is the map I'm looking at. Grain mill, just here. So we'll go to the map, back here. So we started at the main farm, came out along here, crossed the river to the sawmill, out to South Valley Biomass Energy, came along there, and up here to Johnson's Farmer's Market. So again, you click on that, can't buy that land. Uh, gas station just here, animal dealer can't buy that. Even when you've got the grain mill, actually that's what we'll do. I don't think, I don't think you get the land with it. Standard as far as the grain mill goes. Let's come back to the map. Yeah, and then all this stretch all the way down here, all of these buildings, there's houses and stuff like that, but there's a lot of them. As I was driving down thinking, oh, that'd be cool. You could put, you know, whatever it might be on there, whether it is just a sell point or whether it's a production to go along with whatever the factory looks like, but you can't. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh, I don't know, but again, it's a review of sorts. I mean, giants do it themselves, then some of their maps are the same, you get plots that you can't do a thing with, but it is what it is. So, continuing, all the way down here, we come to, where is it, we're there in a moment, uh, no, keep going, <laughs> past all these properties, I think it's the next big turning here, yep, come through here to the grocery mart sell point. which is through here. There we go. Actually, I'm going to say, let me just have a quick look at this map. Uh, just look at the rotation of it. South Valley. No, it's not. I was say, I, I just you know, sometimes you get that that sudden feeling. You think, oh, hang on a minute, is it because the the base map, it, the base map may have been Elm Creek, and it's that kind of thing of it's utilising those things, but it's not. Uh, Lime station, just here. follow this all the way down and we will come to on our right sugar mill on our left oil mill to our right spinnery and then back out onto the main road and head south Ooh. nearly lost it there It's like this, because I thought, oh, it's our farm. It's not. Can't buy that plot. Which seems weird. 
all that stuff there. And you think, well, that's perfect. So, gas station to our left. To our right. Vehicle shop. Vehicle workshop. And this is also the reset point on the map. So what we're going to do now is head whoa. <laughs> up to the next junction and turn right it's because of the way the river is here you can't get across that way without coming back up to this I mean you could if you're a bridge in I suppose catching up with him quite quick turn down here Cross the river twice now because of the little tributary. So cross here, next turning on the right, brings us down to the other farm. So to our right, chickens 360, sheep 65, pigs 270, got a slurry point, manure point just over there, cows in the middle, uh, the cows are at 80, then large building here with storage, and this is where we've got tractors 9, 10 and 11. These three front loaders, beat cutter on that one. There you go, 9, 10, 11. Kong's Gilder, mower, and the front mower just there. Forage wagon, slurry spreader. Is that one a muck spreader? I think it might be the muck spreader. Let me have a look at the back, yep. Slurry spreader and muck spreader. A couple of front weights. Open the gates. Nothing in this barn, it's just storage, this one. And then just over there in the corner, large silage clamp. Now this uh, cow pen for 80 has got a feed robot as well. So you can put your stuff in here and then on the hour, the robot will come out and do its thing and fill up the feed troughs. Again, another large area, plenty of room. So if you want to take these animal pens out, replace them with animal pens of, of your choice, if there's a particular type you like. There's plenty of grass area. I mean, just this area alone, where we are now, we come all the way down the side here to there, back up to that road and come down here. So we own all of this grass around it. So if just throw this up, all of this grass around. So if you don't want your animal pens to be on the sort of on the concrete, I know they've got sort of pastures. But if you want to use open pastures, there's plenty of plenty of mods that give you the ability to do that. Or landscape, or plough, or create your own fields, whatever you want to do. There's plenty of scope for it. And then make this into an industrial complex, whatever you want to. Yeah. So I mean, at the end of the day, there is plenty of space. Maybe I'm, I'm being a bit finicky about all the areas you can't purchase because there's there's plenty of room on this map to, to build it however you want. Again, it's got a kind of no man's land feel to it, although it has got all the things on it, loads and loads of cell points and all the stuff on here. But because it's so flat, there is a lot of scope to basically build your own map. So back out to the road and continuing east. So then when you're doing a run like this, especially on a map that's flat and open, it's different when you're winding your way through valleys and there's hedges and trees and forests and that kind of thing. You can't always get a, a feel for the size of a map, but when it's open like this and you're driving along the side of a field and the field goes on and on and on and on, you think to yourself, yep, take on a contract on there, you're going to be working on that for a while. Especially if you get something come up like potatoes or carrots or whatever it might be. So, carry all the way along here. We come to Red Marble Bowling Restaurant, just there. And then we've got a little track at the end that should bring us back around to the last couple of points. Uh, let's see what we want, just here. 
Swing back in a little bit. So the huge facility down here. Nothing to the left, that's land you can't buy, but the buildings are there. I mean, add to that immersion to it, there's other stuff going on. We've got Feed and Grain South down here. Just there. And then just over here, we have got the biogas plant. Like I said, you can't buy the land. The stuff is all there, and it's an expensive one. It's a one megawatt, so it's I think this is 1.9 million, I think it was. Shared space over to the side there. Two large silage clamps behind. And just here. Yeah, 1,915,480. Do that. Standard as far as biogas plant goes. And then if we go back to our map, you'll now see, having come across the top there, past Red Marble Bowl, down there to Feeding Green South, we now own that land, which is also the stuff around it as well. So on top of getting the biogas plant and the silage clamps, we have got a bit of land around us too, for our 1.9 mil. Quite an expensive prospect. I don't... Uh, let me just double check this. So I don't think we can sell it. Uh, no. Can we sell the building? No, not even the building either. Okie dokie. Uh, and then if we follow the road back up there to this road, that brings us up to our start farm just there. And that's the map. That's Wolfhagen by A.E. Maping. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and thanks for watching.